I now have our first batch of test results from our cluster performance test. So this first batch, we're just testing one to four servers in a cluster and we wanna see what they can handle. The primary bottleneck of our servers is CPU. We have enough network bandwidth, we have enough storage, we have enough memory. CPU is largely what we look at and that's what limits us. To make it easier to test, I've intentionally nerfed the servers. So they're small, they're tiny. So we're using mini servers instead of the normal size that we would use in a production environment. Here are the results. Again, CPU is our limiter. We're testing one to four servers using 100 to 700 players. At the bottom is a mention of the aggregate message traffic for the entire cluster. In the case of 100 players, you've got 500,000 messages per second that the cluster is handling in total. 700 players show 2.45 million messages per second across the entire cluster. And like I said, we're limited by CPU. So what we wanna see is as we add servers to the cluster, we wanna see that CPU usage drop. We want it to drop linearly as we add servers because we don't want any diminishing return. We don't want it to level off to where it's always at least 50% or something like that because that would mean the cluster would have a limit. And what we're going for here is server technology that enables us to have no diminishing return so that we can add a very large number of servers to a cluster. That'll let us have a true single shard game. It'll mean there's no queuing behavior. You don't have to wait for anything. You can go anywhere, do anything you want at any time.